I just wanted to make this video real quick and I actually filmed a little bit of my shoulder and arm workout from this morning. Wasn't able to get all the footage that I would liked. Um, I was by myself so I tried to do my best but hopefully you guys are enjoying that. I'm going to voice that over, um, voice over that footage and just give you guys a few updates. I'm going to talk to you guys briefly about fasted um, cardio, fasted workouts and my opinion on them and my experiences on them and hopefully that gives you guys a little bit of insight onto um, whether you should train fasted ever or if there's a time and a place for it and just how it relates to your goals specifically. So getting into kind of what's been going on, I've been very busy. If you watch my last few videos, I'm personal training full time now. And so I'm very busy in the morning, very busy later in the night, because that's usually when people are free from work either in the morning or later at night. And I have the majority of my day free in the middle, which is nice for me to work out, um, nice for me to make videos, but just having the time and really the motivation has been what's the biggest thing for me. Being able to kind of work out in the middle of the day is nice for me, but a lot of my friends are busy with school or they're busy with work during the middle of the day, so I'm forced to work out by myself a lot, which isn't necessarily the worst thing in the world, but um, I'm someone who likes to work out by myself a good amount of time and with people, so I like best of both worlds in that aspect. So being able to get the best footage isn't necessarily happening. Um, being more busy lately with my job, it's been difficult to figure out when to meal prep having meals on hand, when to work out, how my workouts are going to be in terms of whether I'm going for more strength focus, more hypertrophy focus, and really this last month and a half I've been kind of balancing that out and figuring out what works best for me. So I really am trying to find a balance and I'm slowly finding that and um, I just kind of want to give you guys an update and just let you know that I'm busy too. I have um, the same types of struggles, I guess you'd say, that most people do, especially now that I'm working full time. So I think that's going to definitely be something that will benefit you guys because I'll be able to share my experiences on how I'm fitting things in, how I'm meal prepping, and how I'm still making progress and getting towards the goals that I have set. So with that being said, I'm still focusing on a nice hypertrophy and strength mix with my programming. As you'll see in this workout, it's more hypertrophy based, but even in my shoulder press, which I started out with, I was doing eight to 10 reps, which isn't necessarily super high volume. That is more into the hypertrophy range, eight, being, eight reps being a little bit in between the sweet spot, if you will. But I'm still focusing on my strength. Really want to build up my strength on my bench days. I'm focusing on incline bench just to really bring up my upper chest, get rid of these collarbones and just get a little bit more tissue on the upper chest. I would definitely recommend watching my last video if you haven't already. I go over um, my whole chest and back routine and continuing on with that series is going to be coming up soon. I'm going to be continuing giving you guys an intermediate or beginner split depending upon how you look at it so you guys can do it. I know there's tons of people out there who have their own programs for sale, all that sort of thing, but I just want to give you guys a structure and a split that you guys can do. Go to my YouTube channel, People who ask me about splits that I offer, and I'll offer that for free, guys, because like you saw in the first video, I'll give the full workout, describe it, give you guys a few key tips, and I really just want to put that out there for you guys to have. So yeah, so that's going to be coming out in the near future. These next few videos, every other or so, will probably be another um, workout for that split, and it will just kind of slowly um, come together. It's going to be about five or six videos all together, so stay tuned for that, guys. And yeah, so that's kind of an update of where I'm at right now, what I've been doing, and kind of what's been going on in my life. So hopefully it gives you guys a little bit of insight as to why I've not been posting as much on YouTube especially. Instagram, I've not been posting as much as well because I really wanted to make it more of a helpful page. I think so many of these Instagrams out there, especially Instagram, it's all about themselves, which I mean I get it's your Instagram, but for me and the way I want to help the fitness community, I want to start doing features on my YouTube, or excuse me on my Instagram and that's just going to be for my followers, anyone who follows me, just hashtag Anklem Athletics in your posts and I will be featuring once per week one of my followers that has just been displaying a lot of effort, a lot of progress and just perseverance in general, kind of all three of those things and this can be whether you're just a straight athlete in sports, you're a power lifter, bodybuilder or you're just someone who's trying to get in better shape. I just want to be able to help people out, get people out there, and just show people the recognition that others deserve for hitting their goals. So that's something I really want to do with my Instagram. I want to focus it more around you guys, giving you guys helpful workout tips, 
still posting my conditioning, posting um, my workouts, posting things like that, but less posing, less selfies, less things like that, and more so things that are going to actually benefit you post to post. So just a little bit of what I've been thinking, kind of reevaluating what I've been doing with social media while I've been kind of taking this hiatus or break from social media and YouTube as much as I would normally be on it. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. The workout you guys are seeing, as you already probably saw, the footage is not as long as I would like it to be because I only got to film about the first half of the workout. I was on my phone and I was propping it up against my water bottle so it wasn't very easy to do but I tried to get some footage for you guys and put this video together because I definitely think it was needed. And um, I know I'm kind of rambling on about random stuff here but just quickly I'm going to touch for about a minute or so on fasted cardio and fasted working out in general so fasted workouts. The workout you saw just now, it's about 10 o'clock right now, I woke up at about 8 o'clock and got to the gym at about 8.30, did not have anything in my system other than ISO Aminos by Mansports and my Pure Pump, which is what my pre-workout is, and I take that on an empty stomach, which is really, really nice because a lot of pre-workouts I've taken, I cannot take it on an empty stomach without feeling like absolute crap. So that's what I would recommend if you like tra um, training fasted and you are worried about your pre-workout kind of hampering your workout because your stomach try that out but anyways guys last or two winters ago I trained every single day at 5 30 in the morning before my classes and that is when I made the most amount of progress so yes your strength is gonna be down yes you're gonna feel a little bit less energy that you would if you did have a huge carb meal or even a small carb meal rather than not eating anything at all but with that being said that does not mean you can't make progress I actually feel a little bit more focused when I am fasted because I don't have my digestive system working and my mind can focus specifically on the weights. Um, but along that same line, you don't want to focus too much, or excuse me, you don't want to put too much um, stress on your body if you're that depleted where you're really not even going to be able to move the same amount of weight that you normally would. So you kind of have to find that balance, find out what works for you. Um, I'm personally not someone who likes to train fasted every single day. Last, like I said, two winters ago, I did do that every single day and it worked fine. But the main thing you have to focus on after that is just really focus on getting your calories in throughout the rest of the day. But if you're training that early, that almost helped me out because I was up so early and I had so much more time to eat and to get my calories in. Because if I was waking up at 9 o'clock, 8 o'clock, that gives me three less hours or so than I could be um, actually getting your calories. So for someone who has a lack of appetite like myself, usually eats smaller meals and feels full quickly that's a good way to kind of ensure that you're having enough time throughout your day to get in the proper amount of meals that you need to bulk or to put on size. So just a quick tip for you lean gainers out there, but fasted cardio in general, you think it would be counterproductive for someone who has a problem with gaining weight, but I actually would do fasted cardio in the morning on my days where I was either doing a rest day or maybe like an arm workout just so I wasn't really taxing myself too much. I would do a high intensity interval workout um, so basically sprinting on the treadmill for 10 seconds, hopping off for 10 seconds, and doing that for about four or five rounds, um, and increasing the speed every round. And I'm talking like highest, highest speed on the treadmill possible for your last set. I was really moving, and I know it's not very fast, but when you're doing it that quickly for about five rounds of 10 seconds on, 10 seconds off, you definitely are gas. So after that, I would feel so hungry for the rest of the day because my metabolism was just kicking into gear and that high intensity training um, just really helped me um, just kind of kickstart my energy, or excuse me, not my energy, kickstart my metabolism and really get me hungry again because I would get into these ruts where I would just have no appetite. Um, so for someone who has that problem, fasted cardio might seem like a complete opposite end of the spectrum of what you might actually want to do, but it might be something that would help you in the long run um, even though it seems kind of counterproductive. So that's kind of my take on fasted cardio and fasted working out in general. I'm not going to sit here and say that I know all these scientific um, reasoning or scientific information that proves that working out with an empty stomach or in a fasted state is going to give you more fat loss versus just a normal cardio session at the end of the day or whenever time period works out for you. But I do know from personal experience that I feel a lot better when I do fasted cardio. It has helped me immensely when I'm trying to lose fat and I just feel a lot better throughout the day in terms of my appetite and wanting to actually eat. So for me that's a huge issue and if that's a problem for you guys too it's definitely something I would recommend trying out. So I know this video was kind of random, kind of all over the place, but hopefully you guys could take something away from this. 
Like I said, stay tuned to my Instagram and start using ankle athletics as a hashtag in your post if you would like to be featured. And yeah, I will talk to you guys very soon. I'm going to be coming out with a lot more videos just like this, just talking to you guys, voicing over training footage because that's really what my channel started off on and what I think a lot of you guys are enjoying and have enjoyed for the um, since the beginning of my channel basically. But thank you once again for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Almost at 900 now guys and it's crazy to see. But um, I really do appreciate you watching and liking the videos. Liking the videos definitely helps me understand which ones you guys like more than others. And yeah, thank you guys again for watching. I know I said that like three times now, but have a good day. Take it easy, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Also, I, I know like everyone says see you guys in the next video, so I need to think of something different. But for now, see you guys in the next video. Have a good one, guys.